welcome students in this particular class we will learn another important operation that which can be performed upon arrays and that is deletion so we will have a program here i'm going to code a program and in this program you will see a list of students marks being entered and apparently the teacher wants to give a retest to a student and so wants to remove that particular score from the array data list and that's exactly what we are going to see so foremost let's start the program with the following procedures so we got that include i will stream and then using namespace std and then we are declaring a function int int main this is a parent function and then we need to declare the array so it's going to be student marks and i'm going to give a size of 10 of course you don't have to give 10 scores or 10 data elements you can just give 5 or 6 depending upon your liking and i will also collect the marks that the teacher wants to remove and then i will also have to declare another variable called j if you want to declare it here or it doesn't matter you can declare it in the for loop now this is the variable x we need so this is the score that we are asking the user to enter and we need one more variable and this variable will determine the number of scores that the teacher wishes to enter and the next one is going to be the flag variable this is a very important variable and i'm initializing it to 0 now this would actually be deciding the flow of control so that is very important i'm going to show you how it works now having declared these uh, variables it looks fine let me just head on to the c out c out please enter the number of student marks you wish to enter so this is to the user and we get that in n and then we start the for loop before starting the for loop we have to give a message so this is going to be please enter we get the other scores now i'm going to use the structure in this following fashion so int i is equal to 0 i is going to be less than the variable that we received followed by i is incremented and then over here the c in has to be placed so this is going to be student underscore marks i and no I, i don't want to give an end l don't give an end l it will give you an exception so this is fine the marks have been entered through the for loop and now comes the most important part so let me give this c out before deletion data before deletion and uh, i can print that out so we need a for loop so what i can do is i can just copy this for loop and then i will paste it here so instead of saying c in this is going to be c out and now just to get a clear idea i'm going to print everything in a horizontal manner right not in a vertical manner in a horizontal manner so i will give a tab there so that you will be in a better position to see the output so we don't need anything else so we just stop there and after this i will give a return zero and then i will close the body now let's save it and check the program so it says enter the number of students say imagine you are entering 5 please enter the scores you can also enter the scores in a linear fashion it doesn't matter so i'm going to enter 45 
99. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's perfect. I'm giving an enter there. So this is how it looks. Data before deletion. So 45, 66, 77, 88, 99. Now, let me give you this idea. I want to get rid of the 77. Somehow the student feels that he could have or she could have done better. So I want to get rid of the 77, right? Or the other scenario is you have entered this by erroneous ways. In other words, by mistake you have entered this. So you don't want to have that, so you want to get rid of that. So the question is, how are you going to get rid of that using an array? So that's exactly what we are going to see now. So let me come out over here and then I'm going to ask the user C out. Please enter the number or enter the score you wish to delete. Enter the score you wish to delete. So this is from the user. Now that score, I am going to receive it through the variable x and then I am going to carry out a check. So how would I carry out a check? I need to have a loop. Look, so I am going to call the loop again int i is equal to 0 i is less than n and then i plus plus so if I need to open the if statement here yeah? if std underscore marks of i if in case it is equal to the variable x we have given then we need to open a block here the first thing what I'm going to do I'm going to increment the flag flag is equal to 1 okay so because we have got success here now next I have declared the variable or I should say we would use uh, another new variable for the operation. Now this is also a for loop. Now this for loop will handle the following. So let me just uh, write the for loop. So for int j is equal to i. Now what is this i? This i is the new find. Right? We have captured that i which is corresponding to the value that the teacher wants to get rid of it. So that would be the value that j would start with. And then j would be less than the parent variable n and then j would be incremented. So that is the most important step. So having given that, we will have to now make the following adjustments. So we will have to push when the output is displayed, I will explain to you also there how exactly this works. So, the working order is like this. So now, we are starting with student marks of the new J. So, this J is going to be connecting with the next one. So, this J is going to be equal to the next element because the concern I is already removed. So for that, we need to assign the new element. So that's exactly what we are going to do. So this is basically this j which is carrying the value of i, which has been spotted with the new uh, the element that we would want to delete. So now we need to assign a new element for this j. So this is going to be std underscore marks of the subsequent value which is present. So that's going to be j plus 1. So this is the most important part in the program. So the for loop will be running using this control. So once the for loop gets uh, completed, that means the if is already completed. So what I will do, I will give a break here. I'll give a break and then I will come out of the, after the for loop gets finished, it's a break. We don't need to go any further. The if will terminate and the parent for loop will also get terminated. So this is the algorithm that the program will be running on. Now 
after doing all of this we need to cater to one more situation that is if flag if flag is equal to zero if flag remains zero then you have to give a c out c out the score you are looking for is not found so that's fine so from here onwards we don't have to have that return there so we'll complete that parenthesis so now the return still reminds us that we got our body safely covered so now the if is for the flag now we need to put one more if flag becomes equal to 1 now we got the other part to cover which is to get the result printed out so it's going to be if flag is equal to 1 so this is going to be producing our for loop so it's going to be for int i is equal to 0 i is less than 1 down right we have already got it out of that particular value and then i is going to be incremented so for int i is equal to 0 i less than n minus 1 and i is incremented and we begin the for loop by the c out c out std underscore marks of i and i wish to get this printed in a single line so i'm using tab there so i will complete the block for the for loop and then i will have to complete the block for if also so that looks nice we will save it and we will run it so please enter the number of students we wish to enter say for example five students enter the scores i can also enter scores in a linear order give, without giving enter right so i'm going to do that same thing so 55 65 34 and 98 uh, 99 so that would comprise of five students because the count starts from zero so i give an enter so you can clearly see data before deletion 55 65 34 98 99 so now i want to get it up this 34 now the moment 34 is removed i would have to push 98 to the space where 34 was occupying that is the reason I started the count for j as j being equal to i because i is the position this position is uh, 2 0 1 2 so j takes the value 2 if you were to see the uh, the code clearly i mentioned here j is equal to i that means this is the spot where i is is found to have this 34 and that position is 2 here so j starts from 2 and goes all the way up until the end so in this case it will go all the way up until 5 and j is incremented so now what happens here is that we are actually taking 2 the position 2 and assigning the next position j positive 1 so in this case this is the position 2 now this would carry the value in position that is succeeding its position so in this case this is 2 2 positive 1 will be 3 so this is the position that we are looking for right 0 1 2 so this would be the next position so this position value will be pushed to the position 2 value right of course when we are talking about position 2 value literally we are talking about the index assigned by the array so this position is 0 1 and 2 so we are working with the index of course to the naked eye we are talking about an element that is at the third place but with regard to the array we are talking about the index allocated to this element so in this case it's going to be 2 so this position is now going to be holding 98 and the loop will run up until the end of the array so that's the logic behind this now 
Having got that, it says please enter the score you wish to delete. So I would like to delete 34. Right? So let's see. Now there is some issue there. So 50. F so that, okay. So 34 is indeed deleted, but uh, you can clearly see that we have not enclosed the, the parenthesis for T. So we need to do that in the tab section. So we haven't given that. You see that that slash has not been given there. So that's the reason we are getting that issue. So that's a minor issue with regard to formatting, which can be handled easily. So I'm saving this. So let me just go and run this program and show you the output. Number of students, as usual, I'm giving five. And please enter the scores, say 98, 99, 97, 96, and 90. Right, giving enter. So data before deletion, fine. Enter the score you wish to delete. Say I want to remove 97. I want to remove 97. I give enter. So clearly you can see 98, 99, 97 is removed. You see that? 96, 90. So this is absolutely working. Now what if the score that we are looking for is not present? This would happen if we are handling say hundreds of uh, score, hundreds of data elements, right, or in thousands of data elements, we may not be sure what score to look for. Sometimes it occurs, or it occurs more frequently than we would expect it to occur. So let me just uh, build and run it. Of course, we have not made any changes, we can directly run it. So imagine I'm giving five, and enter the scores, say 88, 99, 98, 97, and 95, right? So that's fine. I am looking for 34. I give enter. You see that? The score you're looking for is not found, and roll gets terminated. That's a, that's a beautiful program. Clearly, you can see that if the flag is equal to zero, it comes out. That's it. And then... The program is completed. Students, it's a lovely program. It's a lovely program that is emphasizing how exactly we can delete elements from the data set. Thank you.